Hello guys, this is Rahul here. Hope you are doing well and I am back with another interesting video. So let's start. How if we could use a laptop or PC's Wi-Fi or broadband connection on our smartphones? Yes, that's interesting. You can use this trick anywhere without letting anyone know that you are using the connection. For example, of course, your office. First of all, you need to check whether the hotspot service is enabled or not. Go to command prompt and type netsh wlan show driver. This command will show all the wireless information on the screen. Check whether the hosted network support is present. We are good to go ahead. Now set the hotspot properties like Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password in the following command. Netsh wlan set hosted network mode equal to allow. SSID, this is your Wi-Fi name, set it to enter and key will be your Wi-Fi password. Hit enter. As you can see it's configured now. Let's start the hotspot. NetSH WLAN start state network. Hit enter. Wireless hotspot service is started. Now go to network and sharing center. You can see our hotspot is ready to use, but it has no internet access now. Now we need to share our PC's Wi Fi or broadband connection to this hotspot. So go to properties. Sharing, allow this and select our hotspots connection to show that is local area connection for, for us. Now you can see the internet is working properly. Let's see this is working on a smartphone or not. <laughs> Now whenever you want to turn this off, type this command net sh wlan stop straight network. It will stop the hotspot service. And you can now always start or stop the service using these two commands. You don't need to configure the hotspot every time you power the system on. It's automatically saved. Now let's see what problems you can face while configuring the hotspot. If you see hosted network is not supported on the command prompt, go to device manager. Look for Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. If it's not there, go to view and click show hidden devices. Now make sure it's enabled or update the driver software for this driver and it will work like magic. Also sometimes command prompt doesn't let us execute the commands when we are not an administrator. So simply go to windows, search for cmd, right click it and select run as administrator. It will work super fine now as you can see. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.